Hey guys, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, I've got some info I just found. Um, I got done working on a lawnmower and I figured I'd come in and do a little research. Uh, my last video, I linked you guys to uh, a video series that talks about end times and the rapture. Very in-depth. I hope you guys take an opportunity to watch those five videos. They're very, very in-depth study. Um, but while I was watching those, there was a talk of, or I found a link to, by accident, uh, talking about the RFID chip and uh, changing your DNA. And I'd heard this before. I had never really paid much attention to it. <clears throat> but I did want to do some research on it to see if it was something that needed to be put out. Other people have done it. I figured I would add information that I could find. I did not find anything about changing DNA. But what I did find, and I will put a link to the page that talks about this and gives the details so you can read it in its entirety. But I'm going to hit a couple of high points that tell you on, because I've already done a video on the chip, but it reinforces things that I told you in that video, um, and it's pretty enlightening. So uh, if you got a minute, listen to this. Uh, implanting a chip can become cancerous or migrate to the heart like an embolism. When implanting a chip into a horse, I clip or shave the area, scrub it with surgical preparation soap, spray it with surgical site disinfectant. I then inject the area over the implant site with lidocaine to numb the skin and underlying tissues to maintain sterility of the chips. Now this is a veterinarian talking. I surgically scrub my hands and don surgical gloves. Only after this preparation do I implant the chip in the neutral ligament, neutral ligament of the mid-neck area of my equine patient. The glass enclosed chips do not always stay put like a splinter in your finger. The body often mounts a response to a foreign object, even one as innocuous as a piece of sterile glass. The response may include the formation of a sterile abscess around the chip, or it may remain painful and generate a negative response when the horse turns its neck. Chips are known to migrate within the body, and finding a chip in some animals becomes a major undertaking. A small percentage of veterinary patients have developed a cancerous growth at the site of the implantation, while the incidence is low in animals with short lives, an equine patient has more time to develop a cancerous growth around the implanted chip because horses live a pretty good, pretty good life. So this is in a horse, and this is a veterinarian that's doing this stuff. And they're seeing the cancerous tumors that are forming up because of this. Um, and they go on. There's a lot of information on this page, but they go on and... Are the chemicals on the coating causing cancer? Um, FDA has been hiding this stuff, evidently, according to this their page. And they give lots of links to different stuff so you can go and verify it. Um, there's one other one here. Uh, Verichip causes cancerous tumors, sarcomas. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men who had the mark of the beast. This is from Revelation 16, too. This goes directly to what it's saying. Now, it gets better. Because it didn't have a battery in it the first time, but it does now. Where is that at? I've got to work my way through this thing to find it. Fair chip linked to cancer. I wouldn't let my family take it. There it is. In humans, sarcomas, which strike connective tissues, can range from the highly curable to tumors that are incredibly aggressive and can kill people in three to six months. This was a doctor that said this. Uh, I mean... Where's the allure to take the chip? There is none because, according to this, it's going to jack you up. And there was one more about, uh, yeah, lithium toxicity. Because now they all have, and I, I told you about that guy that was a developer of it, and it now has a lithium battery in it. And there's a part on here that tells you what happens when lithium comes in contact with the human skin. Oh, this here, the implant about the size of a grain of rice uses radio waves to transmit medical and financial account information to reader devices. There is a risk that these transmissions could be intercepted and duplicated by others or that, as privacy advocates have warned, the devices could be used to track an individual's movements and location. already talked about that. Most people who've read up on this know. That's the main reason why they're using it. Control mechanism. They want to get everybody under control. 
uh, turn chip, where is it at? Uh, for the lithium ions, and this is a quote, uh, we believe we have solved the battery issue, which leaves a question of an antenna that can transmit through skin tissue, uh, said Applied Digital Chief Scientist Keith Bolton. The devices will be powered by lithium ion batteries, which can be charged remotely from outside the body. <coughs> All the chips that people are getting now are have the... Um, all have the lithium ion battery in them. Um, lithium is also an extremely poisonous metal, and if it comes in contact with the human body at all, terrible sores erupt in the flesh. And there's a link that talks about that. Lithium is employed as a miniature power plant for the chip since it self energizes through changes in the host's body temperature. Thus, the site for the implant will usually be those body parts demonstrating the greatest variations in temperature in the back of the hand or the front of the head. Lithium does have one drawback, experts say. It produces an infection when brought into contact with exposed organic tissue. Guys, I'm going to link this so y'all can read it yourself. There's tons of links on there that link that go to um, uh, medical journals and medical papers that are written about this and reports on this. Just more evidence. Do not take this RFID chip. I'm telling you guys, this chip is the first part of the mark of the beast. The second part is when he forces worship. And when you don't, he's going to turn your account off so you can't do anything. You won't get medical coverage. You won't be able to buy or sell. You won't be able to buy any food. You won't be able to walk into anywhere because almost every place, I believe, is going to put security scanners so you have to scan to get in. I can't show you any more evidence to prove that this is what this is. This this chip, and it's spreading all over. Millions of people have it right now. Uh, in this report, in this on this page, the, the Mexican... Um, Part of the Mexican government, I forget what part they said, uh, they all got mic microchipped. And they're doing it through all the government in Mexico and in many other countries. So people can't sneak into the buildings. They have to have the chip to access it. Uh, the five companies here in America that are making the chip, uh, one of them is in Jared Kushner's building, just letting you know. Uh, he's an advocate of this and he's pushing it. Another reason why I think he's the Antichrist. Um, these companies have done all their employees... And they're doing anybody in the communities where they're at, getting them chipped. Uh, hospitals now are chipping patients uh, indiscriminately. They come in and say, well, you have to get a microchip so we can you know, keep a record of your stuff now. Uh, there, any excuses, uh, Obamacare, anybody that's still got Obamacare probably has a chip because they were getting ready to require chips before it was uh, stopped and Obama was voted out of office. Um, China is 100% digital. Almost everybody in that country has a microchip. There's billions of people with it right there. Uh, Sweden is getting microchip. They're almost done. I think Norway has started doing it. France is doing it. Every country has got this going on. Don't be deceived. And don't get complacent and think, this is, this is an isolated deal. Uh, this isn't, and a lot of people are saying this, this isn't going to be the, the mark of the beast. They're going to come up with something better down the road. Nope. This is it. Because once they start this system and transfer everything over, which is their goal by 2020, is to transfer us over to a digital system. Once they do that, cash will be worthless. Gold and silver will be worthless. You will not be able to use that to do any business. You will have to have a chip because you'll have to be in the digital system because everything will be in the digital system. Do your research. Look it up for yourself. Guys, I don't want to see anybody take this thing because once you take it, the Bible is clear. Go read it for yourself. It's in Revelations. Once you take that mark, I can, all I can do is report it. All I can do is be a watchman. All I can do is profess what I've been given and what I've been shown and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, the warnings are all there. The bells and whistles and alarms are going off. The red flags are waving. Don't take this chip. I'm telling you, a lot of people that I know that are very good Christians, they said they have no problem with this chip. There are Christians all over the country that say, oh, I don't see any problem with the chip. Well... The one problem is, if you don't get condemned for taking it, it's going to kill you. So, I don't know. There's nothing else that I can say to prove it to you. You guys got to go out, do the research like I do, and prove it to yourself. I have no doubt this is the first part of the two-part system for the Mark of the Beast. Worship is going to be the second part. Don't believe me. Go look it up. 
anyway, I just want to throw that in there. Check out the link if you want to read through the page. There's tons of good links and information on there to, to show you about this and back everything up and uh, get educated. And I pray you all are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I hope to see you in the clouds. Our time is short. It's time to get ready. Very, very short.